Well, the BRICS alliance, which initially included Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, has expanded rapidly. There are more countries hoping to join, among them Turkey, which has formally applied to become a member. Our correspondent there, Jasper Mortimer, tells us why Turkey wants to join and what it could mean for global diplomacy. Turkey seeks to boost its role in world affairs by getting together with other developing countries to form an alliance that can stand up to the West. The West has the G7, the European Union. Developing states have BRICS. Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan said last week that Turkey wouldn't be so interested in joining BRICS if it had been admitted to the EU. And Turkey's not alone in its enthusiasm for BRICS. You know, the Russians are saying they expect 20 heads of state to attend this summit. Now, BRICS only has 10 members. That means half the participants are the leaders of non-member states. And this is a big slap in the face uh, to Western attempts to isolate Russia because of its invasion of Ukraine. By going to this summit, uh, presidents such as Turkey's Recep Tayyip Erdogan are saying that Russia is still important and President Vladimir Putin is still influential. So an important presence then for Russia. What would Turkey's membership mean for, for Russia? Well, what Russia wants from this summit is Turkish support for two of President Putin's pet projects. The first is setting up a system of international payments that's an alternative to the dollar-based SWIFT system. And he will get President Erdogan's support on that. But it's going to be very difficult to achieve. Turkey's biggest trading partner, for instance, is the EU. And it's going to be very hard for Turkey to turn its back on the established system of international payments. Secondly, Putin wants Turkey to make itself into a hub for the sale of Russian natural gas to the rest of the world. Now, Putin's been pushing this idea for two years years now. But Turkey's not too enthusiastic. I think it's because Turkey doesn't want to become saddled with a lot of Russian gas that the Europeans don't want to buy. Uh, you know, Turkey does get gas from other countries such as Iran, but most of it comes from Russia. If it becomes a hub for Russian gas. Although gas doesn't carry a label saying made in Russia, the Europeans will know that what Turkey is trying to sell them is mostly Russian gas, and they want to cut off their um, uh, imports from Russia because of its invasion of Ukraine. 